you guys it's your girl cutie and i'm back with another video y'all so erica badu is ready for all of the smoke okay now it all started when erica posted a picture of mother b okay beyonce on her instagram story y'all okay and she put the caption hmm along with the picture of herself y'all so let's look at it real quick so y'all, as y'all can see, this is, I'm going to do a quick little glimpse, you guys, because this is actually when she was talking to Jay-Z after the Beehive came for her. But for those of y'all who do not know, that's the picture. Okay. So um, a lot of stuff happened, right? So this is the situation where it started where Eric was like, yeah, hmm, those braids look familiar. So I guess the beehive, y'all, had came for Erica Badu. And y'all know the beehive girl, they are just, I don't know, they the biggest fan base ever, like for real, for real. So they, y'all know they're not playing behind Beyonce girl, okay? Um, so Erica Badu comes up here and she says to Jay-Z, say something, Jay. You gonna let this woman and these bees do this to me, right? So my thing is, I know what a lot of people are going to say, like, no, she should have never said nothing. Da, 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 woo, woo, woo. Well, you know, it is what it is. Like people, I guess people are entitled to, hold on, let me put this up. Cause it's always somebody showing their tail, like literally, um, hold on. Y'all about to switch it up and put something else back up here. But I mean, like I said, people are entitled to their opinion. Me personally, I probably wouldn't have said anything because I think it's better like, if you see something, just scroll past it. But again, I'm not going to tell nobody not to say something if they feel like they style or something like that has been allegedly stolen or whatever it is, what it is. OK, so after Erica, you know, posted what she posted to Jay-Z, then Beyonce's publicist, y'all. OK, it says Oop, Beyonce's publicist, Yvette Noel, she sure, whatever her name is. Seemingly responds to Erica Badu by sharing a video of B's braids and her looks throughout the years. Okay, so and then she put hashtag criti critics without credentials. So it's crazy, y'all. Then she says she slays, she slays now, then, always. Like we get it. Okay, Beyonce slays, Beyonce slays, Beyonce slays, Erica slays, Erica slays, Erica slays. Um, I get it, but my thing is B has been accused by numerous, and I mean numerous of artists, you guys, and they have been saying that Beyonce allegedly, you know, um, and she's and it's been artists and musicians and everything saying is that she's allegedly stolen either their style or their music or their dances or whatever okay allegedly but i do think that erica you know she got her little thing going on over there too but she has been trolled by the beehive and she told jay-z that for a reason child because y'all know how to beehive get but it's all really just a hot mess but y'all know erica be over there with those herbs and spells and everything allegedly so i mean i get it with the beehive and stuff like that that's our queen we love her y'all know how a lot of these people do out here girl they idolize these celebrities baby they will pray to these celebrities before they pray to the man above who laid down his son for them baby okay so y'all know how some of these people are on this here internet okay but at the end of the day I do feel as if Erica got that backlash because they probably feel like, I know a lot of people were saying that maybe she could have just, if she felt a ways about it, she could have just went to Beyonce and be like, hey, you know what, da, 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 because you are Erica Badu now. You could easily call Beyonce and be like, hey, girl, you know, I like the idea, the inspiration, blah, blah, blah. or you could have just cleaned it up. If you feel like you just needed to come to the internet, you could have just cleaned it up and be like, oh, I appreciate you know, people paying homage to my style because I mean, let's just be honest. Anybody can wear whatever they want to wear. It's not a certain design that nobody can wear because the person had it in their hair first. Let's be real. I mean, we got to be realistic. So I'm trying to see all sides of the story. So we're not going to sit up there and be like, oh, this Erica Braves. Can't nobody get the braids, but Erica, that's not realistic and it's just not going to happen. Um, 
But at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of these celebrities, they do get on here and they do stuff like it kind of do seem cloudish a little bit. But at the end of the day, like I said before, she has a right to say what she feel like she want to say. If she feels played or whatnot, then I mean, she just want to say what she want to say. She felt played about it. She don't like it. And, you know, it is what it is. Like she just felt like, OK, well, this look for me. I mean, and it's the same style that Erica got. So, I mean, yeah, it is what it is like. It's been Erica's not the first one to come out saying this type of stuff. OK, so um, but again, like I said, maybe she could have took it to the point to where she was just like, oh, OK, well, maybe I'm going to just sit here and, you know, just tell her how I feel. Or maybe I'm going to call Jay-Z. I just don't think it was a big a big enough deal for Erica to. How do I put it? Like for her to put it on the internet, just like I was saying about Nene Leaks, like I feel like a lot of these people, even now the older women, they coming up on here and they're putting like stuff like, you know, for cloud, like, you know, the Nene situation. I feel like at the end of the day, Nene, if you check Portia, like it's the same thing with Nene and Portia as it is with Eric and Beyonce. Like if you already checked the person or if you could have went to the person behind the scenes, why not do that? Because then it looks like you just doing like a cloud chase. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, again, this is Erica Badu. Erica Badu does not need to cloud chase anybody. Erica Badu has been in these streets longer than Beyonce. But at the end of the day, it's like a certain way that I kind of feel like people need to learn how to start handling stuff. You don't always have to come to social media and address something with somebody if you have a problem with them, especially somebody that's well seasoned and they know like, OK, you know, I know that I can approach it a different way. Because y'all yeah, know the situation with Beluga when Beluga had came for her, said something. I don't know what it was he had said to Erica Badu, but girl, it went down. Baby, Erica told the universe, universe, do your thing. And baby, I don't know if it was days or a week, probably not even a week. And that's what that incident, when that incident happened with the, you know, the dude at the boxing ring and he was up there boxing. The dude came in with the slice, slice, you know, trying to, yeah, yeah, blue face. So, I do get how karma does work. And like I said again, now I know everybody mad, but y'all know that Erica be over there with them herbs and spices. Okay. She be over there. Yeah. Doing. Yeah. All right. Um, but next time I feel like maybe she could have just went in. She could just have confronted Beyonce or called Beyonce. That just would have been more professional. And not only that, I'm pretty sure y'all know each other behind the scenes. So you could have just basically called and be like, Hey B, you know what I'm saying? Um, I like your style, you know, I'm glad that, you know, you, 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 you know, maybe she just felt the ways because Beyonce didn't give her homage or something. I don't know. Give her recognition for it. I don't know, child. It's so many scenarios that it could be with this situation, but I believe that a lot of artists and, and, and this on this thing, what I'm about to say. It doesn't have nothing to do with age. But I think a lot of artists, like, when they've been on the scene for so long, and then it's, like, new people that come and da-da-da-da. Like, I really do feel like the artists that's been here longer do get offended and they don't want to you know what i'm saying support the new up-and-coming artists or artists like you know i do feel like maybe erica and my humble opinion she's like oh i've been here longer and you can't just steal my style da, da, da. but again like i said i'm gonna say this i'm gonna let y'all go beyonce is known for doing stuff like this allegedly but i like beyonce um, I love Erica Badu. I think I'm a bigger Erica Badu fan than Beyonce, but at the end of the day, I'm not really on the Beyonce hype. Like, oh, this Beyonce, I've never been the type of person to be like, oh, well, my fave did this. Da, 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 da. I love Portia, like Portia Williams, but baby, I still tell all sides of the story, you know. Um, and it just make good content doing that. So, but anyway, y'all need to let me know what y'all think about this. Okay. My name is Cutie TV. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.